So come on kids, let's give our highest praise through our song and dance.
kids, my name is Teacher Irene. Welcome to Kids Church Online. Before we start, let us pray. Our Almighty Father, we thank you and glorify you for today. Thank you for the love and care that you always give upon us. Lord, thank you for keeping us to be part of our church. We thank you for our loved ones, friends, family, parents, and all the people that surround us. Lord, as we go along with our lessons and crafts and games for today, may we may we participate attentively and be free of any distractions. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So kids, do you still remember the title of our series? Yes, it's entitled, I Belong. On the first week, we have talked about devotion. And on the second week, we have talked about prayer. And now, we are on our third week, and it's entitled, what's your guess? Great! It's about our community, our church. So, before we start our lesson for today, let's have some games. Do you want to play with the games? Great! Let's watch this video and I hope you will enjoy participating in this activity. Ready? Ready? Steady. Set. Go! Bless. I got three. I found it. Ah! I found it, Papa. Now put it in. want to have more coins in order to have enough money to buy our favorite foods, our toys, or our favorite clothes. But do you know that the early members of the church did something else with their money? Do you have any idea what have they done? Wow, that, is good. that was a good idea. But in order for us to learn more about what have they done with their possessions, let's watch this video. Hey guys, let's hang out later today. Sorry guys, I can't today. Maybe some other time. Well, see ya. Is it just me? Or do I get the feeling that he doesn't want to hang out with us? Yeah, and when he does, he eats all my fries! You know guys, Remy's dad just lost his job. Oh, maybe there's something we can do for him. You're right, Grace. Acts 4 verse 32 to 35 says, All the believers were one in heart and mind. No one claimed that any of their possessions was their own, but they shared everything they had. With great power, the apostles continued to testify to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and God's grace was so powerfully at work in them all that there were no needy persons among them. For from time to time, those who owned land or houses sold them, brought the money from the sales, 
and put it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to anyone who had need. So, Bible Club fam, what do you think? Let's bless Remy, guys. I'm in! Hey, Remy! We heard about your family situation, so the Bible Club decided to pool a little funds to help you get by. You know, with all the school projects that need extra funding? I... I don't know what to say. Thank you, guys. Oh, that was a great story. So kids, do you know now what did the early church members did with what they have? Perfect! Yes, they shared everything they have to other members who are in need. So the early church was such a beautiful picture of a community. They love and care for each other. Such they shared everything they had. All of us who love Jesus are part of the church. We can also share our love and care for our church, church mates and by sharing what we have. So, do you think you can share what you have? Is there any way or anything that you can do to others who are in need? What do you think it is? Yes, we can pray, give, or even share what we have. We can give away our outgrown textbooks, our old guard gadget, or even a portion of our savings. It may seem not much, but if all the kids in our kids' church do the same, many people will be blessed. Kids, if you are the one who needs help, you can express this also to a church mate so that they can also pray for you too. And now it's time for our power, truth, and power verse. Power, truth. I belong to God's family. Again, I belong to God's family. And for our power verse, they spend their time learning from the apostles and they were like family to each other. They also broke bread and prayed together. Acts chapter 2 verse 42 CEV. Again, they spend their time learning from the apostles and they were like family to each other. They also broke bread and pray together. Acts chapter 2 verse 42 CEV. So kids, do you know what's the next thing that we should do? Mm, yes, it's time for making our craft. So let's call on teacher Syra for our craft time. <laughs> Teacher Zaira, and today I will guide you in making our craft. Since our lesson is about us being God's big community or God's big family, the craft that we will make today is a paper chain of people. So come on kids, let's start making one by following these instructions. Okay, have fun! So what we will need are the following. Paper. Scissors. Pencil. And any coloring materials. So first, let's get our paper and fold it into four. First, fold it crosswise.
and then lengthwise. Next, take the two corners and fold it on the side until it meets the right edge of the paper. Then it will look something like this. And turn it upside down. And we will cut a curve right here and it will look like a shape of a pizza. <laughs> the next, we will draw a shape of a person. So, we will first draw a circle for the head. We will draw it on the center. And then the neck. Next are the arms. Make sure the arms will extend on the edges and we won't be drawing any hands. Then, next is the body. And then, the legs. So, just like the arms, it should both extend on the edges. Like this. So once you finish the drawing, we will cut it out. Then after cutting, we can unfold the people paper chain and it will look something like this. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight heads for our paper chain. And lastly, we will draw different faces for our paper chain of people. Let's end up in a prayer. 
Our Almighty Father, we thank you and glorify you for this day. Thank you for giving us the chance to hear about your word. Father, may we always learn to help one another without hesitations, and may we always be willing to extend our help to those who are in need. Father, we also pray for our church mates, protect them, and always care for them. And may we always remember you in everything that we have and in everything that we receive. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So kids, bye-bye. See you next week.